Hello painting peeps and welcome. It's Kathleen from Cause Creations. Welcome to the No Brawl Zone number three guys. I'm glad you're here. We're working on a kind of big canvas. I'd like to go bigger but my table right now won't handle that. But soon, soon, soon I've got some uh, 36 by 36 over there and I got some 30 by 40s over there and eventually I will get to them. People ask me all the time, what inspires me? Well, everything inspires me. Nature, um, um, taking a walk with my dog, everything inspires me. I, I dream about paint sometimes. And uh, we've got a massive wall in our home here in Florida and I'm waiting to paint something big for it when I have the room to paint super big. And, um, I was looking through some art at one of those art websites where you can go and you can order your art in different sizes, get it matte, get it framed, do whatever. And I came across just a beautiful painting with coppers and blues and golds and it was very wispy. And, you know, I plugged in the size I was looking for and it was like $2,100. <laughs> I thought to myself, well, damn. <laughs> Maybe I should just paint that. It was just wispy and it had some coppery uh, nickel azo goldy things flowing through it that looked like um, somebody had actually blown it out and then did some swiping on it. So I thought to myself, let's give it a go. Let's give it a go and, and see how we do. 24 by 30 inch gallery wrap canvas right there. Our base coat today is in this yummy cup right here. Take a look at that consistency. I am working with some thin, thin paints. They're probably close to pearl pour thinness. That right there is Rust-Oleum Metallics Accents in the pure, blah, 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 take two, in the pure metallic white. Now I did add about a half a cup. Let me grab it, it's a big old can. of the Bear Premium Plus Interior Satin Enamel Base Coat Paint. And it is brand new and it is heavy, guys. But I added about a half a cup to that because I didn't quite have enough of that Rust-Oleum paint. So I figured, what the heck? Let's play with a little bit of satin enamel. I've painted on house paint as my base coat before and it gave me a lot of really nice effects. So. I figured let's give it a go. We've got some really yummy paints right here. A lot of them I kind of mixed up and played to get to all those hues that I remember from that piece of art that I fell in love with. Right here in this cup right here, we have Amsterdam Acrylics and that is their Prussian Blue. Beautiful paint. Love my Amsterdam paints. I love all paints, guys. This is fun. This is Deco Art Dazzling Metallics in the Rich Espresso. Mix that up real good with my pouring medium. What's my pouring medium today? Every one of these cups got a big old squirt of GAC 800. Every one of these cups got about an ounce and a half of paint, less with the fluid paints. And then they got my pouring medium, which is 50% Floetrol, 50% Liquitex pouring medium, and a good amount of water. Let's get back to this paint right here, Deco Art Dazzling Metallics and the Rich Espresso. And I added a drop at a time till I got to this beautiful coppery, chocolatey goodness. Golden Fluid Acrylics, the Q word in the Nickel Azo Gold. Let's take a look at that paint because this girl is digging on it and I need a little more water in there. Can you see that? Probably not. It's just absolutely beautiful, guys. We need a little bit more water in there. This right here is the Q word all by itself, Golden Fluids in the Nickel Azo Gold. Let's take a look at that consistency. Leaves almost no trace whatsoever until it sinks into the paint below. 
right here. What is this? What did I do with this color? Oh, that is more of the Decor Dazzling Metallics in the Rich Espresso. But what I added to that was Golden Fluid Acrylics in the Iridescent Bronze. Great paint, but I find that when I use it alone, it has a little bit of a green hue to it. So I mixed that up with some of the Espresso and got an absolutely lovely color right there. This is the Amsterdam, once again, in the Prussian, Prussian, did I say Persian blue <laughs> before? It's the Prussian blue in the Amsterdam acrylics, and I added to that just about a half a teaspoon of the Deco Art Satin Enamels to get that yummy light blue. And this right here, yummy goodness, and I am at the end of it. Guys, Deco Art's having a 30% off sale. Head over there to get your paints. Um, and if you would be so kind, um, in the description box is my affiliate link. Doesn't cost you a dime if you order them through uh, Cos Creations, then um, this girl gets a little bit of a discount herself. This right here is Deco Art. Americana Metallics in the 24 karat gold. This is mixed a little bit differently. It's much thicker. I just added just a bit of GAC 800 to it because I might kind of splat this around. I haven't decided yet. So I'm excited. We're going to uh, put some music on. We're going to relax a little bit and we're going to slop some paint around and hopefully make a beautiful abstract painting. I'm glad you're here, guys. Let's get busy.
Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I Keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Even if the sky is falling down 